This is the Izaka Line, a local private railway operated by Fukushima Transportation in Fukushima Prefecture. Spanning just 9.2 kilometers, this 12-station line runs through a serene landscape. At first glance, the Izaka Line might appear to be a typical rural railway. However, during the morning and evening rush hours, it can get so crowded you might think you were riding a commuter train in a big city. Maintaining a stable and profitable operation, with an annual ridership of 2.4 million prior to the pandemic, the Izaka Line has been held up as an example for Japan's rural railways. While the pandemic briefly caused a decline in business, passenger numbers have since rebounded. The Izaka Line attracts many passengers because it has worked its best to provide quality service as a local line. In today's program, we are taking a look at Fukushima Prefecture's Izaka Line, which continues to maintain a stable operation despite the challenges faced by many rural railways. Located approximately 200 kilometers north of Tokyo, Fukushima Prefecture is serviced by a total of 13 lines, including JR East's Shinkansen, as well as conventional lines and third sector and private railways. Fukushima City, where the Izaka Line runs, boasts a population of around 300,000. In the city center, there is JR Fukushima Station, and adjacent to it is Fukushima Station of the Izaka Line of Fukushima Transportation. Fukushima Transportation, one of the prefecture's largest bus companies, operates regional buses, highway buses, and chartered buses in the heart of the prefecture. The Izaka Line is operated by the Railway Department of Fukushima Transportation. The Izaka Line, which will be celebrating its 99th year in operation this year, was originally built to take tourists to the hot springs located at the end of the line. However, as the years passed, tourist numbers fell into decline. The Izaka Line changed dramatically when the land along the line was developed for housing. During the period of high economic growth between the 1950s and the 1970s, houses and apartment complexes were built along the line, rapidly boosting the population. The majority of the line, which runs almost 10 kilometers between Fukushima Station and Izaka Onsen Station, is in a residential area. Because of this, it plays an important role in the daily lives of the people who live there. Mm. 
今日は病院の通院で飯坂線以外にやっぱり交通の足が、うん、あの福島バスぐらいしかないので、うん、あのどこか出かける時は、うん、ほとんどと言っていいほど、うん、飯坂線を利用します。The Izaka Line developed its services based on the people who used the railway. One such service is the number of train operations, which is high for a local railway. The Izaka Line shares the platform at Fukushima Station, the first stop on the line, with Abukuma Kyuko, a third sector railway. According to the Izaka Line timetable, the train runs every 15 minutes in the morning and evening and two to three times an hour during the day, totaling 105 trains per day on weekdays. That number is especially high when compared to the schedule of the neighboring Abukuma Kyuko. やっぱり本数減らすとお客様が減るっていうのは間違いないと思うんでえなるべく今の本数を維持した形で、えーまあ、利便性は低下させないようにっては思っております。The Izaka Line introduced IC cards in 2015 to cope with station congestion in the mornings and evenings. This further increased convenience for the line's passengers. More rural railways are now operating one man trains due to staff shortages and to reduce costs. However, on the Izaka line, all trains have a conductor on board. During the daytime, there are more elderly passengers. So, the conductor's main job is to provide peace of mind. The conductor's responsibilities include operating the train doors and collecting fares at unstaffed stations, which keeps them busy due to the short distance between stations. They also provide assistance to passengers, like the elderly and tourists. In addition to the staff on board, passengers will also find railway personnel at the stations. Out of the 12 stations on the Izaka line, only two are unstaffed. Three of the line stations are fully staffed throughout the day. While the remaining seven stations are staffed during the morning and evening rush hours. In addition to selling and collecting tickets, station staff are responsible for guiding passengers and performing other safety oriented duties. 各駅に駅員を配置したりとか、あと車掌を電車に乗せて、まあ、安心して電車を使っていただける環境の中を提供してですね、えー、まあ、お客様の利便性の向上にいつも努めているという状況です。The company believes that maintaining such meticulous human service has helped minimize the decline in user numbers. found it really nice to see on the Izaka line there are always two members of staff on the trains and then out of 12 stations only two are on staff meaning there's always a personal connection to the railway mm. and actually uh, this Izaka line is an urban railway running in the city of Fukushima and the city of Fukushima is believed to have the population enough to justify this kind of railway S having said that uh, Japan as a whole Uh, has the aging population, and that means that the declining ridership in the future is almost inevitable. So, from that point of view,、uh, this strategy of maintaining enough members of staff so that passengers can get help 
as they wanted is a good one from the point of view of maintaining ridership. Mentioning another thing is maintaining ridership, but also maintaining daily operations. I, we've seen quite a lot of railways who decided to cut down on daily operations in order to save costs. But this line managed to maintain their frequency, which I think also stops a further decline in ridership due to inconvenience. Yes, that's right. If a railway operator uh, decides to cut the frequency of trains, then what is likely to happen is that uh, more passengers will uh, choose not to go by rail and then the ridership will decline further and then the railway operator might want to uh, decrease the train frequency even further and then the vicious circle will start to turn. So from that point of view, maintaining the frequency is a really good strategy and I do hope that uh, the effort uh, seen on the Izaka line in this direction will continue on well into the future. Yes. Now let's see how the Izaka line is trying to attract tourists. The train leaves Fukushima Station and arrives at Izaka Onsen Station, the last stop on the Izaka line, in approximately 25 minutes. The Japanese-style station building was built to match the streetscape of the Hot Spring Resort area. Izaka Onsen is a hot spring resort area that dates back to the 14th century. During its peak in the 1970s, it attracted as many as 1.7 million tourists a year. Izaka Onsen still welcomes around 600,000 people per year. However, the number of people using the Izaka line is declining. どうしてもやっぱり観光のお客様、伊坂温泉の観光のお客様って車の比率が多いのかなというふうに感じておりまして、もうちょっとこのお客様方を電車に利用になんか切り替えられないかなっていうのは常々考えているところです。So, what the Izaka Line and Izaka Onsen Tourist Association jointly introduced is this bundle ticket. It's a one-day pass on the Izaka line, along with admission to any one of the 20 hot spring facilities. Moreover, by presenting the ticket, you can get a discount on the entrance fee to the art museum located in the hot spring area. Recently, more and more people have been enjoying day trips to the hot springs instead of staying at nearby Japanese inns or ryokan. As a result, around 300 of these tickets, which were made for day trippers, are sold each month, mostly on weekends. <laughs> To increase passenger numbers even further, the company is also working on projects and events to attract rail fans to the Izaka line. This is the Izaka Line's rolling stock depot. In 2014, an event was held here to commemorate the 90th anniversary of the line's opening. At the time, the area was crowded with families and rail fans. At the event, elementary school students got the chance to experience driving a train. The experience was incredibly popular. At the time, many adults requested to drive the train as well. So in 2017, the railway began holding train driving experiences.
On this day, 13 participants from inside and outside the prefecture have come to Sakuramizu Station, where the train depot is located. Most of today's participants are experiencing driving a train for the first time. In the morning, the participants attend a one-hour lecture in the training room on how trains work and their operation. After the lecture, the participants move to the train depot for an underfloor tour of the train. A staff member explains the functions of the control boxes and equipment, which can't usually be seen, in a simple and easy to understand manner. And now the driving experience begins. The train cars used are the same that carry passengers every day. The driving experience takes place on a 70-meter section of the line at the depot. The cab of this train features a single-handle integrated acceleration and braking system, making it easy to operate. The participants go back and forth several times to get the hang of driving and braking. ま、結構走り出しのところがスムーズに行けたので、そこがうん、あの、初めての経験と言いますか。うん、すごく快感でしたけど。アクセラルというのはもう入れ、スムーズですけど、やっぱブレーキの入れ、入れるタイミングですね
通勤通学のお客さんって固定客になってくるので、えー、やっぱり伸びしろを考えると定期以外のお客様をどれだけ伸ば,伸ばせるかっていうところは一つ肝になってくるところがありますので。When trying to attract tourists, ideally you want to attract visitors that come back again and again and again. And I think the Izaka Line has done a great job attracting two different fan bases the hot spring enthusiasts and also the railway fans. So hopefully they will not just come once but several times.、Mm. I do think that the idea of collaboration tickets is a really good one. And I do hope that the railway company and the local community as a whole. Try many more new ideas, and I do think that there are many untried ones. For example,、uh, the railway company would want to attract more people who used to drive to the hot spring area, and、um, I think there are some ideas to actually realize it. I love also the idea of reusing that old train set as a waiting room and a workspace. I would love to do some work there. Next up is Tourist Trains in Style, where we introduce amazing trains from all over Japan. The Ozatoro Tembo train is a tourist train operated by Aizu Railway, a third sector company in Fukushima Prefecture. It runs approximately 45 kilometers between Aizu Wakamatsu Station on the JR line and Aizu Tajima Station. The train, which makes frequent stops, is convenient for tourists wanting to visit the hot springs and sightseeing spots along the line. The train consists of two cars. Car one is designed as a trolley train car without windows. Car two has two types of seating. These are Ozashiki tatami room seats. You take off your shoes and sit down. In the winter, a futon keeps you warm. These are the observation seats. The floor is raised to give passengers a better view. The seat next to the driver is also open to anyone who has reserved an observation seat. On board, an attendant distributes commemorative tickets and sells items at the concession stand. At the stand, souvenirs and Aizu Railway original goods are available to purchase. The train departs Aizu Wakamatsu Station and arrives at Ashinomaki Onsen Station, the gateway to the hot spring area. Since 2008, the station has had a mascot cat popular among tourists. The current cat is the fourth to be taking the position. Many tourists come to see the cat, and many cat goods are sold at the store inside the station. Leaving Ashinomaki Onsen Station, the train heads towards the mountains and six tunnels. One creative way to keep passengers occupied while passing through long tunnels is. Tunnel Theater. Images are projected directly onto the tunnel walls from a projector installed on the ceiling of the train, something that's only possible with trolley cars because there are no windows or walls to block the projection. Passing through a number of tunnels, the train arrives at Yunokami Onsen Station. Many passengers get off here.
The wooden station building features a thatched roof, which is rare in Japan. The station building was modeled after an old private house in town, built at the end of the 17th century, called Ouchijuku. Leaving Yunokami Onsen Station, the train weaves its way along the river through the mountains. When the train comes to a scenic spot, like a bridge over a canyon, the train stops for two minutes. There are three such viewpoints along the way. Finally, the train arrives at the last stop, Aizu Tajima Station. The passengers having spent one hour and 30 minutes enjoying nature to the fullest. The Ozatoro Tembo train operates three times a day on weekends and holidays. I like the three different types of seats because in order to experience them all, you kind of have to hop onto the train about three times at least. Yes, that's right. And um, one unique feature of this tourist train is that uh, these are the trains in normal service but with uh, rather special kind of seats. So once you get a ticket, you can hop on or hop off at any station you like. All right. How is it connected to Tokyo? Well. Actually, this Aizu Railway is part of a very long route uh, starting Tokyo's Asakusa Terminus to Aizu Wakamatsu Station. Uh, it is actually a very slow route, so you can enjoy many things along the way. So if you want to take the scenic route, you can go all the way from Asakusa to Aizu Wakamatsu. That's right. Fantastic. <laughs> 